Hey guys, Richard here with Downgrid Survival. So I want to take a moment to talk about bug out bags. And interestingly enough, uh, I almost got, almost got a chance to use mine this weekend. Uh, yeah, so it was, what was it, Friday Friday night. Uh, right outside our small neighborhood, there's a, there's a highway that runs past. Uh, just a uh, two lane, actually four lane highway, divided highway. And uh, there was a lot of police activity, a lot of fire trucks out there. And I thought it was a car accident or something. But I didn't see any, you know, smashed up vehicles. And I wasn't sure what was going on. And so I took to our community page on Facebook and asked the question, saying, hey, what, you know, what's going on? Because there's, there's a lot of activity. And they ultimately ended up shutting the road down uh, so people couldn't go, you know, in either direction. And after a little while, I found out that it was a natural gas leak. Somebody struck a line out there. There's a small construction crew doing some work, and they struck a line. And so there's a natural gas leak. And then it was a little while later, we, uh, we got told that part of the neighborhood was being evacuated because the natural gas, I guess, was somehow ended up in the sewer system, and it was traveling. And so it was a concern that uh, they were going to have to evacuate the neighborhood. Well, we never got the official word to evacuate. Uh, I don't know if anyone that was living a little closer to that activity had to evacuate or not, but it was certainly, uh, you know, certainly something that we thought maybe we are going to have to respond to rather quickly. So I was thankful that, you know, my family has that preparedness mindset, so we already, you know, we would have been fine. It would have only taken us a couple of minutes to, you know, get out the door <clears throat> because, <clears throat> excuse me, we, we have pretty much everything we need uh, packed up and ready to go all the time anyway. So there was that. <clears throat> but also, uh, interestingly, on Saturday, uh, I saw the news clip today, but apparently this past Saturday, the city of Denver was giving away free bug out bags. And I thought that was kind of interesting. Uh, <clears throat> in recognition of, of disaster preparedness, you know, a month, um, they were giving out bug out bags. <clears throat> so. You know, it's a little comical, I guess. But I was watching the the news uh, the the news coverage on this, and they they had one of the bug out bags, and they were kind of going through and sharing what was in it, and and you know they obviously most of it was kind of kind of cheap. It was just more of a campaign to bring awareness than it was to actually give you anything usable. But but three of the top items that was that was in this bag was um, a roll of paper towels, uh, toilet paper, and cotton balls. And, and I just found that a little comical. I mean, sure, I have some some toilet paper and and even some wipes in in uh, you know our bags, but um, and cotton balls could be useful, I guess. You don't need a, a big bag of them by any means. You don't need a whole roll of toilet or a paper towel. I just I just thought it was kind of interesting that uh, their approach to the whole idea. But I was happy that they that they took those steps and that they were actually doing something for. Uh, for Disaster Preparedness Month and to bring awareness to people. Now, this is the city of Denver, so, you know, what are they got to be prepared for? Well, you know, winter storms uh, where they could lose electricity, uh, <clears throat> you know, uh, whiteout conditions where things get really bad for, for a couple of days. Uh, I've experienced that because we used to live in Colorado. Um, you know, another thing that they have to be concerned with there is, is wildland fires. Um, uh, houses are built really really close together and and uh, they got a lot of wildfires there every year and if it gets into a neighborhood it can take out a whole neighborhood in fact it, it did uh, while we were there so those are the kind of threats that they face and I just found it interesting that you know they they were telling people that you know about bug out bags and and uh, they were giving a few of them away <clears throat> so I was actually been thinking about whether I needed to do a video on bug out bags on, on my bag I haven't done that because there's so many videos out there already uh, for people to go and look at, and my bag isn't a lot different than anybody else's, I suppose. Uh, but let me know down in the comments if it's something you want to see, if, if you want to see what's in my bug out bag, and, and maybe I'll do a video on that soon. But I would like to know uh, just a little feedback that would help the entire community is what are the top five items you think are important to have in a bug out bag because the top five items that you have for your bag may not be what I have for mine and it may not be what a lot of other people have for theirs and so um, it'd be helpful to kind of see and share ideas and thoughts on you know what's important to you uh, and I'll share what's important to me and 
um, yeah, maybe we can reprioritize a little bit of what goes into our bag and into our kids. So, um, anyway, hey, that's it. I am almost at my destination. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut this video short. So you know what to do: like, comment, subscribe if uh, if you so choose. And I will see you again in a future video, real soon.